filming. Hi, this is your trusty teacher, Dr. Nurse, working over break, trying to come up with some more good videos for you to help you in lab. The first thing I'm going to do is review safety. And um, this safety segment would be good for anyone coming into our lab for the first time or during the second semester. The first thing I want to remind you is you have to be dressed appropriately every single day, every single minute in your lab. You're in the lab. And right now, I'm not dressed appropriately because I don't have my lab goggles on. Okay, so you must wear lab goggles, gloves, apron. You've got to have shoes that cover your feet. Put those flip-flops away. Okay, it's the winter. And long pants or a long skirt. Okay, so I'm dressed appropriately. I want to remind you of a few devices we have in here for safety. Okay, first of all, when you walk into the lab, you will find on your right a fire blanket. Okay, when do we use the fire blanket? We would use the fire blanket if somebody's clothing or person were on fire. It could really be used to put any fire out. The blanket is inside this box. You simply pull it out and snuff out the fire. If somebody's clothing were on fire, you could just take this blanket and wrap it around them and put out the fire. That's what a fire blanket's for. It's right by the door. Um, also by the door, you will find a shower, fire shower. You remember us discussing this at the beginning of the year. If you pull this chain, a lot of water comes out. So you don't want to pull the chain unless you have to, okay? The lab has no drains in it. So if you pull the chain, the entire lab will flood, all right? When would you use this fire shower? The shower. The shower is principally for chemical exposure. So if you had a massive chemical exposure on your clothing, you would take your clothing off, any affected clothing off, and you would pull the shower and it would drench you with water, rinsing the chemicals off your person. Just do it, okay, if there's a problem. Alternatively, sometimes people, if they have a small part of their body covered with chemicals, they will take the affected area, take one of the hoses, of course I'm having trouble getting the hose out, take one of the hose out, hoses out and flush down the area. Okay? As you will read in your lab manual, in every single lab, when we have a chemical exposure, we use 15 minutes of continuous flow of water. Okay. Right now, because it's Christmas break, the fire extinguishers are not in the laboratory. Okay? But I'm going to go get one. This shower could, in principle, be used if a person was on fire. You could use it for that purpose. Okay? Now, I'm going to go get a fire extinguisher. Should I follow you? Yeah, it's okay. It's not a, it's not a high, high quality production. Okay. Um, ordinarily, and the only reason these fire extinguishers are not in the lab right now is because they are being filled and they're being recharged. That This is done every six months or so. Normally, there is a fire extinguisher hanging in this position on each side of the laboratory. One fire extinguisher is a CO2 extinguisher, and one is a dry chemical extinguisher. This extinguisher is a dry chemical extinguisher, and you can tell because of the tubing that's coming out of it. A CO2 extinguisher has a big cone, okay? It has a big cone coming out of it. Now, a little later, I'm going to show you how to use an extinguisher because I'm going to go over some basic safety, okay? Um, one, a couple other things. Generally speaking, you should do all your work in the fume hood, and when you work with the fume hood, you want to have the door at least at this level where it says sash elevation for acceptable performance. Ideally, you want to have the hood door down as low as you can get it. If your hood is functioning, you will see a green light up in this area. Obviously, the hood is not functioning right now. Later, I will show you a hood that is functioning when I do some work, okay? But keep that in mind when you go back to work. Remember to use the monkey bars inside your hood to build your apparatus rather than using a bunch of little pieces of equipment or a bunch of ring stands to build, a piece of, build, build an apparatus. It's a lot safer. You're going to see me build this still in a little while. Okay. One of the last things I want to show you is 
the eye wash station, okay? At each end of the eyelid, there is a hose. There are two hoses. This hose is just for cleaning, or you could use this to rinse off your skin if you've got chemicals on yourself. Now I'm wrestling with my hoses. Okay, I'm going to put that back in in a second. This hose with the red cap is the eye wash station, okay? The way you use this eye wash is you create an arc. You push the water up and you create an arc like this. Now, if I thought I had chemicals in my eye, I would take my goggles off, okay? I'm going to stop for a second. Take my gloves off, okay? I get this thing flowing. Oftentimes, you need help when you have an eye injury. So if your eye was burning or itching, you would hold your eye open, put it down in the arc of that water for 15 minutes. If both your eyes were affected, you would hold both your eyes open, and one of your friends, or my, myself, or your instructor, would not shoot it that far, but they would create an arc for you. So it's supposed to be sort of like a water fountain arc. If you shoot the water down like this, okay, it's too much pressure for your cornea, and it can actually damage your cornea. So they're supposed to be used the way you would use a water, whoop, you can see it's pretty powerful, the way you'd use a water fountain like this. You get soaked when you have an eye injury, or when you have chemical exposure. Again, this hose, which I was wrestling with, could, it's really just there for cleaning, but you could use it if you had chemicals on your arms, your hands, your legs, whatever, okay? So that is the basic safety equipment, okay? That's just your general orientation. Again, your best bet is to wear proper attire. That is, as I went at the beginning, goggles, gloves, I'm getting new gloves because I feel naked in here without my gloves, goggles, gloves, shoes, so important, pants, don't sit on the benches. If you feel any itchiness in your gloves, throw your gloves out, put new gloves on. When you wash things, wear those long gloves. Clean your area, okay? Um, okay, so that's your general orientation. Um, there will be other little segments on safety. Thank you. See you in lab.